from millipedes to playoff hockey as it is still alive in the Star City after Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs defeated Knoxville in a decisive game three over the weekend. Now the dogs return to the ice on Thursday. WFXR Sports David Guzman explains how Roanoke is preparing for its next opponent. Well, after dismantling the top seed Knoxville in the first round of the playoffs, the underdog rail yard dogs know that they have another tough challenge ahead against Huntsville as Roanoke makes its second ever appearance in the President's Cup semifinals. The dogs were back to work Tuesday. Their celebration after beating the Ice Bears short lived as they prepare to face the Havoc, a team that Roanoke swept during a weekend series at home last month, but one that head coach Dan Bremner considers is the gold standard in postseason hockey. Regular season matchups, regular season weekend sweeps don't mean a thing when it comes to playoff time. Uh, we know they got a veteran group. They're very composed. They uh, are on the same game plan and, and they execute very, very, very well. Um, so, you know, we, we got a huge challenge in front of us and, and we're looking forward to meeting it. Part of meeting that challenge will be the work in net by Sammy Bernard, who made 27 saves in the game three win over Knoxville on Sunday. Yeah, he's a real uh, common presence for us. So, like, he's he's as soon as he came in, we kind of we kind of just uh, hopped on his piggyback right there, and um, he's been uh, he's been dialed ever since. And the biggest thing is about his saves are he's been making timely saves for us. You know, uh, he's been making the ones when it's a, still a zero-zero game, giving us the opportunity to get that lead, making the saves when there's a breakdown, when when it's a one-nothing game for us, and, and uh, allowing us to kind of find our footing. Now the eighth-seeded dogs are two wins away from making the championship series for the first time in franchise history. I think the pressure's on the, the top seed, so that makes it, I think, a little easier for us, but we've always considered ourselves uh, one of the top teams in the league. It's just uh, a matter of our, uh, our roster, and if uh, we're clicking on all cylinders. But we're coming in as an eight seed, and uh, that workman mentality that we showed uh, for the last month, let alone the last uh, last weekend, uh, has to be part of our DNA. Head coach Dan Bremner emphasizing once again the importance of game number one of this best of three series. And this time the rail yard dogs will have home ice advantage when they host the Havoc on Thursday night here at the Berglund Center. Puck drop is set for 7.05. Reporting from the Berglund Center in Roanoke, David DeGuzman, WFXR Sports. Thank you so much, David. Great work as always. Now, after game one at the Berglund Center on Thursday, the series shifts to Huntsville, where game two will take place Saturday night at 8 o'clock our time. Now, if a game three is necessary, it'll be played Sunday in Huntsville at 6 o'clock our time. Kathleen. All right. Thank you, Jermaine.